Uh, I'm delighted to join David Burton, of course, uh, as a co-chair of this transportation coalition and to be with you this morning. I want to introduce you today to an important document. If you haven't already seen it, it's called Utah's Unified Transportation Plan 2011 through 2040. This is the blueprint for the future of Utah's transportation system. It's a remarkable document. Uh, no other state has been able to put together such a collaborative, comprehensive, statewide, long-range transportation plan. Uh, it was developed from the bottom up by state and, state and local governments and transportation agencies, including uh, UDOT and UTA, and the state's regional planning agencies, the Wasatch Front Regional Council, the uh, Mountain Land Association of Governments, and the Cache and Dixie Metropolitan Planning Organizations. It addresses the 30-year needs of state and local roads, public transit, uh, active transportation, as Bishop Burton mentioned, bike trails, walking trails. It considers the need to expand transportation capacity and choices as Utah's population grows, as well as to maintain, to preserve, and to operate the system. This plan has been touted by the U.S. Secretary of Transportation and other leading transportation officials as the national model for statewide collaboration in transportation planning. I'll conclude with just a couple of important insights from the plan. First, it identifies over $54 billion in critically needed investment through 2040 to ensure good mobility as our population grows, as was earlier described. Two, current revenue sources will generate about $43 billion, necessitating an additional $11 billion to implement the plan and to protect our economy. Uh, the Transportation Coalition will be working over the next uh, two decades with policymakers to make up that $11 billion gap.